I sat down with Bill Nye, the science guy, to talk about climate change coverage and UFOs. Uh, but first he told me about making this viral, swear-laden video for Don Oliver's HBO show. The planet's on fire. You're not children anymore. I didn't mind explaining photosynthesis to you when you were 12, but you're adults now, and this is an actual crisis. Got it? The writers had this premise, and uh, my um, performance was heartfelt. <laughs> but keep in mind, you guys, that I've been trying to get people interested in addressing climate change since long about 1993. And uh, I, my first kid's book as a demonstration about the greenhouse effect, but at mm. that time, I literally didn't want to scare the children. Literally? Yes, so it was about the greenhouse effect rather than the consequences of human activity amplifying the greenhouse effect. So that was, in other words, that was a long time ago. Yeah. And I've been fighting this fight or bringing this to people's attention for a long time. Didn't want to scare the children. Now you do want to scare the adults, it seems. Yeah, yeah. It's time to, you guys, it's time to get to work. Quit messing mm. around. Have you found effective ways to get through to climate change deniers? Well, it, it, climate change deniers to me are like astrology people or haunted house people. It takes a couple years. In other words, you have to present the argument, let them think about it for a while, present the argument again, let mm. them think about it. It takes a couple years for people to change their minds. So uh, I'm not saying lower your expectations, just keep at it. Look at the front page of the New York Times the other day. The headline was, Trump administration hardens its attack on climate science. What's your reaction uh, when the Trump administration doubles, triples down on this uh, approach? Well, I just think it'll catch up with them. I mean, you can't go around saying the world is flat and still do commerce. Let's talk about space. The New York Times has been writing about Navy pilots experiencing these, these strange circumstances in the air, these unidentified flying objects, UFOs. It's got a lot of people on social media talking about aliens this week. Where do you come down on this? Uh, that one part of the government doesn't tell the other part of the government what they're doing. And by oh. the government, I'm talking about the military. Military. If the uh, Naval Reconnaissance Office is messing around with some airborne gizmo, hmm. they don't tell the Air Force what they're doing. They certainly don't tell the other parts of the Navy what they're doing. And I so you know, I worked saying. with guys that went to Groom Lake every day or uh, regularly. Uh, Area 51, this, uh, this Air Force base in Nevada, where these planes, this planes especially, are developed. Mm. They're secret. So I wouldn't be surprised if they observe some secret test that <laughs> nobody wants to talk about. And they're just, the story's being uh, exaggerated now. So these are UFOs because yeah. the people seeing them don't know how to identify them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not extraterrestrial life. That's, this, your, that's what your gut tells well, you. Well, almost certainly not. I why, mean, why almost certainly not? Because extraordinary claims, well, well, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. So it's, if an alien shows up, I'm all for it, man. Let's go. But uh, <laughs> it's probably one part of the military not telling the other part, other part of the military what they're up to for a good reason. Very interesting. And I want to show you one more thing Nye had to say. I want to end this hour uh, on a hopeful note. Watch. You know, as screwed up as things seem to be, for the average person, things are better than they've ever been in yeah, history. getting better. As the saying goes, if you couldn't pick where on earth you would be born, you couldn't choose that, yeah. but you could choose when. When. This would still be the time. As messed up as you might, as many mass shootings as, you, as there are, as many wars are being conducted around the world, there are a lot fewer wars than the bad old days, strangely enough. So this whole pessimism, we can't do this, um, wring your hands, run in circles screaming, is just not my style. Right, that we can't solve these problems. Yeah, but this idea of denying science is incompatible with solving problems. Right.